Hey guys, Junior, Keystone RV Center. All right, today what we're gonna be playing with is gonna be one of these Furion backup cameras. Now we've done videos on how to install just the backup camera. We've done videos on how to install the backup camera and side cameras. And now we're doing a video on how to make your backup camera and side cameras security cameras. All right, so a couple of things you're gonna need. You're gonna need, in most circumstances, because this uses a typical 12 volt plug as of April 2022, um, it's using a typical 12 volt plug. Most campers don't have a 12 volt plug in them still. So you're gonna need some form of going from 110 volt to 12 volt, USB to 12 volt, figure out how to make that happen. There's a lot of options out there. The other thing is you're going to need a way to make the lights turn on. Remember, the number one, and I think we cover this in both our install videos, the number one call we get is, hey, I've got my headlights on and my camera's not working because the clearance light's gotta be on. And people have it set to the auto setting, not the full headlights on, it's the middle of the day, so of course the headlights aren't on. As Soon as they do that, clearance lights come on, we're good to go. So we've got a jumper in there and I'll show you out here in a minute what that looks like goes right onto the end of the seven way. I'll have a link to them in our parts store. Um, and then what we're able to do is we got left camera, which got the slide out on it. We got right camera, which you can see we're parked right next to another RV. And then you got rear camera. Um, I can do my middle touch view all. Now this one we haven't set up all the way. So this is a three camera system. We covered this in the three camera install video. Um, what we do to, to get that set up, we're gonna hit the menu button right here on the side of the unit. We're gonna hit setup. We're going to hit auto display. And we're gonna hit try view because it's a triple, okay? And then I can hit back, back, back. And then double tap on the screen, as you can see, like if it's just on the regular camera, touch once and you can select each camera individually. Tap twice, we hit view all. Now we got to try view. And I can go back to taking a nap in here and uh, trying to make sure Eric doesn't find me and I've got a lookout on that. Now the great thing is with that is if you got kids playing outside and stuff, you can kind of see around your coach a little bit. If you're really boondocking, and you hear a bump in the middle of the night, you can have this on the nightstand right beside you. You can take a peek at it, see what's going on. Um, that's going to work on pretty much every setup that I've seen so far. So cool little feature. I'll go outside here and show you uh, what that little clip looks like. Look down in the description of this video. And we'll have the link for that. Um, as far as what kind of power inverter there are a ton of options to go from 110 to 12 volt and i have one at my house and did not remember to bring it in and we had this last one sitting on the shelf which is from natural power and there is nothing like this on our website um they do not make any we don't carry that brand anymore uh we just had it left on the part shelf so i picked it up for this video and uh yeah, other than that, guys, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you comment down below as well. Oh, no, we're going outside. Let's go outside. All right, guys, back outside. What we got here is this little trailer plug adapter that slips on right here. It's got a little notch at the top that you line up with that. That way it's connecting the seven way. It's got two little metal prongs inside. Here, we'll pop this off. And with this guy in here, walk around here to the side. And you can see, you can see that we got our clearance lights on. So let's show you what the inside of that plug looks like. Again, the link will be down in this description. Face tracking is not liking me today. There we go. So it's just got two little metal prongs in it connect on to that that's what gives you your seven-way power to allow you to uh, operate those cameras as a security camera all right guys thanks for tuning in make sure you click the like button subscribe and make sure you comment down below with any questions or other videos we can do for y'all have a blessed day bye